24 hours from now, Sean and I are gonna be hitting the road to Colorado. I'm gonna break down my gear for you guys. Food, security, technology, clothing, heavy gear. I like to have one hot meal a day. There's a new company out called Alpine Air that's got some pretty interesting flavors like this chicken and gumbo. I will go through half a bag every day of what I call light protein. I love different flavored peanuts. And then I like to have fruit while I'm up in the mountains, so I've got these dried fruits there. I definitely have to have something to end the day with a sweet, so I typically bring one package of that out. This is electrolytes, uh, Noonan's, for the heavy days that I'm going to be hiking out. And this just helps change the water or the, the flavor of the river water that we're going to be drinking. I'm a big Juice Plus fan, as I stated before, and I pretty much will drop these three times a day. We've got heavy protein here. I had about this much last year, so I'm definitely going to be bringing a lot more, but it's definitely worth the wait. I've got power bars. I'll eat half uh, in the morning for breakfast and the other half right before lunch, somewhere around 10 o'clock. And it's always good to have salt and pepper to change up the flavor of your hot meals here. This is the only food utensil that I brought out last year and I'm gonna do the same this year. When it comes to what I call security, these are your every uh, man jack. We know what that's used for. We've got wet wipes for our faces, and I'm gonna be using daily disposable contacts, so that's gonna definitely change how I use my system this year. Contact solution, um, Advil to help any types of aches and pains, and I'll probably take that regularly every day. Deodorant, uh, toothpaste, and I'm gonna cut a toothbrush in half and bring that out there. These moleskins are great for any type of feet problem that you may have, and super glue is great for quick covers on cuts. I've got iodine pills here and band-aids. Razor blades, obviously, for what those are needing. I've got a knife. Uh, my utility knife here, my real knife there. I'm gonna camo up because we're gonna be up and close and personal. I've got two rain jackets here that will cover, rain covers that'll cover the backpack and also my bow. Let's shift over to the technology. So my plan this year is to pretty much just use my iPhone, which I'm filming with now. It does great on recording and at the distances I'm gonna be hunting elk, my iPhone will be working just fine. So in saying that, I'm actually gonna try to upload video kind of regularly. I can't promise you I'm going to have reception up there, so that may not even happen. But last year, I brought this 2000 pack for seven days, and it lasted just fine. And I think it went the whole week, and I never even had to recharge it. So I brought extra battery packs this year, and this one actually has a solar panel in case I do need more power. Video cameras only for long range elk that are not in the area. And as I said, I'm gonna be using my iPhone primarily. So I basically hijacked a GoPro mount and made one usable for my iPhone. So when it comes to clothing, this is what I'm gonna be wearing out. I believe in dry skins because it really helps pull the sweat off of you. I have got boot covers here that will help kick water away from my pants. I've got really light ha hiking pants out and a dry skin shirt. Underwear, obviously, three pairs of these skin or sock liners that are here. Um, hike out sock, this is a secondary sock, and these are my night socks. This is my thermal gear and I need to get my bottoms. I don't have those yet. I've got this new Cabela's Space Rain Suit, which is super light, but I really like the one that Sean has, so I went and grabbed me one. If it actually gets cold at night, which it looks like it might, we've got my gloves here. And I did bring some extra rain pants because it does look like we have a lot of rain. My hunting gear itself, I've got this sleeve that compresses my clothes when I'm shooting my bow. I've got heavy pants here and my heavy jacket. I'm also going to be wearing a vest pretty much the whole time, which compresses all of my clothing. Finally, I've got my sleeping bag over there. This is actually Sean's. It's a nice feather down. I got it airing out. This is my sleeping pad, tent, and my backpack. Going to get all this gear into Ziploc bags and into dry sacks and then stuff the backpack, get the bow mounted. Colorado, here we come. Right here is why I hunt Colorado. It's so gorgeous.